Watching Walleyes. Major presentation option. There are many ways to skin a cat. There are even more to catch a walleye. None of them is best all of the time. Each has its own strong points and works best under certain sets of conditions. If you're versatile and are familiar with several of them, you can catch walleyes anywhere in North America. Traditional walleye techniques are heavily live bait oriented and are geared to tempt neutral or reluctant fish into biting, but they're only part of the program. Other methods use artificial lures or artificials in combination with live bait and are geared to cover water more aggressively in search of active fish. Each style of approach has its own time and place. No matter what form of presentation you're using, boat control is essential. In general, when you're dealing with edge fish, walleyes lying along a distinct drop-off, transition, or weed edge that concentrates them at a specific depth or bottom configuration, you're best off going with a vertical approach. This concentrates your efforts directly in the precise fish zone. Slow, vertical presentations are usually best accomplished with a back trolling approach. The angler places the outboard or electric motor in reverse gear and relies upon water resistance against the flat transom to slow down the trolling speed. Shifting in and out of gear, varying your speed, and turning the motor left or right enables pinpoint accuracy. You can set your speed to hover above a distinct spot or decrease it slightly to slip slowly downwind in a controlled drift approach. This is precision boat control. Note that the angler positions the boat and the boat consequently positions the bait or lure. It's a one-step trolling approach that's deadly on deep water spots. You can also maneuver the boat in the exact same manner and cast to shallower spots. In this case, it's a two-step technique. Position the boat, then cast. Fish that are spread out on horizontal flats, cruising above the tops of weeds or wood cover, or suspended, call for a fast-moving approach to cover large amounts of water in a quick and efficient manner. This generally calls for a forward trolling approach. It's not as precise as vertical back trolling, but covers a lot of territory. Fish that are spread across flats are generally active, and a fast-moving approach is geared to locate them quickly. Once found, you can always slow down and use other techniques if you wish. Anchoring, meanwhile, provides pinpoint control once you've found walleyes in a limited area. Tiny rock humps, current breaks in rivers, waterfalls, any area that concentrates fish in a specific small spot are often best fish from an anchored position. Or, when fishing shallow water at night, you could even try a wading approach. You can use these boat control techniques in tandem with a variety of walleye presentations. Now, in general, for your live bait or your light jigging presentations, about a six foot medium action spinning rod works really well. Uh, team it with four to eight pound test line, and this light line allows you to cast jigs really well, and it has very little line diameter and water resistance and that's very easy to troll with in deep water. Now, your heavier lures like spinners and crankbaits and jigging spoons usually work best on 10 to 14 pound test line, and for that, I would recommend using a casting rod. It's got a little bit more power, and it seems to blend best with those lures. But basically, it winds up to be, you choose whatever you're comfortable with. 